Christy Ogle with Sometime Spouse and Deep Thoughts. What stage of business are you in? A young adult where it is beginning to anticipate the future? Or are you in the zone of maximization? That maturity of the business that you want to stay in. I'm Christy Ogle and that was your deep thought for today. So many people get into business and they think immediately they're going to be successful. I was talking to somebody earlier today that started a new app-based business that thought he was going to put it on his social media profile and overnight sell thousands of downloads on the app. Guess what happened? He did it and he sold none. He had a hundred people that liked it or commented, but nobody purchased. And so many people think that in business, they're going to get started and it's immediately going to be a success. It does not work that way. In business, just as in life, you have a life cycle of a business. You have birth, infancy, toddler, teenager, young adult, and zone of maximization. You want to stay in that zone of maximization for as long as you can. Increase profitability. There's lots of reward. You have management set in place. The business is running because of your management team, it's not owning you. You own the business. Sales and profits are going up. But the thing is, when a lot of people get to that zone, they make poor choices. I've made poor choices in the zone. And it starts to go to midlife, age, institutionalization, and then death. Thank God I don't have any that have died recently but I have had to resurrect them with CPR when they did start to go to midlife and aging very few businesses have been able to bring it back up and we'll be talking about that over the next few days but are you in the zone right now a lot of people have fallen out of the zone because of the current situation that we're in in the world today but that's ideally where you want to be you're reaping the rewards of business. That's why we all got into business, but it takes time to get there. Are we ever surprised in Texas in August when it's 125 degrees outside? No. Are we surprised that fall comes after summer? Well, it doesn't really in Texas, but most of the part of the United States it does. Are we surprised that winter follows fall? Or spring follows winter. No, but we're so surprised in business when everything dries up because we're not marketing or advertising. There's life cycles of a business. And once you start to age and decline and go into that institutionalization, you have to revive it. You got to get the paddles out. You got to shock the business, especially now with COVID. I was talking to a business owner yesterday um, and they were so excited that their business was open back up, but we're in Waco, Texas, hot seat for COVID right now. And nobody's coming into their shop. They have to do something. They have to pivot very quickly. They need to start marketing because no other person in hair salons or nail salons or anything like that are marketing right now on social media. You got to get some new people out there to get back in that zone of uh, maturity, that zone of maximization because you're starting to decline. And the majority of people will just sit there and complain and gripe about it. But there's a few that will go, oh no, hell no, I'm not going down with the ship. I'm going to pivot and I'm going to come out of this better than ever before. I had to quadruple my marketing dollars in March of 2020. Quadruple. Then I quadrupled it again. That's how I've grown my business during a global pandemic. You have to pivot. You want to stay in that zone. You want to get to that zone and stay there as long as you can. Increase profitability, increased revenue. You have a management team. You can't get there if you don't pivot when 
a global pandemic happens. I'm Christy Ogle. Your deep thought for today is what stage of the life cycle of the business are you in? You want to stay in that zone as long as you can.